Hey there, either holder fire familia. Welcome to another reaction. This time I'm going to be reacting to Hell of a Boss season two, episode nine. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, I, I I'm I'm nervous to see. It. Like I know this is one's gonna be about Blitz probably apologizing to like Stolas or trying to apologize to Stolas and probably everyone he's ever he's like wronged in his life. I believe so. I'm both excited, but at the same time, during the interaction between Stolas and Blitz, considering how uh, the previous episode ended. Uh, but yeah. Uh. Oh, we're starting off with Stolas. Oh. Hello, 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 Stolas. Oh. So I... Okay. So, wait. Uh, so, I have predicted it from the, the trailer for these the, the rest of the season two's episodes, and I was like... The look that Stolas gets in those clips that we were seeing with him in this outfit, I'm like, it feels completely different from the usual look Stolas would give Blitz unless he was, like, playing around. But I didn't feel he was. So I'm like, some obviously something goes wrong with moon, the Moon episode. And Stolas either becomes bitter or angry or something over it. And, yeah, it seems like we're on track with that. Well, you haven't been answering my text, and I sent you a bunch I of funny why. shit, so what gives? I'm when somebody, like, when your friend tries to send you a bunch of funny TikToks or something like that, and you just don't ignore them. You don't have friends that climb over your walls, right, asking you. <laughs> but that it just reminds you of that. It's like, you know, I sent you funny shit, why don't you watch them? It's like, uh, because you send, like, 20 or 30 of them. I'm, I'm not watching every single one of those, I'm sorry. <laughs> it would be an indicator I didn't want to talk right now. Oh, come on, Stolas, we just had a rough night. A rough night? I don't know about that one, Blitz. So I can fuck it. Wow. Poetry. <laughs> oh, we have not gotten to see Stolas act like this, and I'm honestly loving it because okay. I, I don't know if I made it like clear or anything from my reaction to the previous episode, but I I both Blitz and Stolas were in the wrong with how that went with how their the uh, that whole thing went down um i can see it from blitz's side and why he reacted the way he did and i see from souls side why he reacted the way he did it's just that they both it's uh, the key issue with this couple or th these two's relationship is miscommunication and just not and not only miscommunication but not communicating um so <laughs> but i am liking like I both am liking but not liking Solus acting like this, but I'm liking it that it's kind of like instead of him being like the, not submissive, but just, I'm sorry, that just, I just realized something. Why, why are the palm trees like oozing slime? Never mind. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm glad to see that in a way, Blitz is pro probably through Stolas. Like, Stolas is obviously covering up how he's truly feeling, how hurt he is and stuff, by acting almost numb and kind of sarcastic. Like, that's how he's protecting himself. Blitz is going to have to work his way through that, in which Blitz isn't used to. Blitz is kind of used to Stolas just being open arms with Blitz in, like, you know, in the bedroom especially. So the fact that Bl uh, Stolas is, like, brushing him off... Um, Blitz is gonna have to really work for it, so I'm kind of liking it. But at the same time, I just wish, I just want these two to just get together, like just talk and then work things out and get together. <laughs> but of course, we have to we have to see the process of that. So yeah. Anyway, I'm sure such a statement would have had me swooning by now. Uh, I, Jesus. Yeah, I'm sure. That, okay, that was a shitty way for me to say it, but you usually yeah. like it when I talk all dirty and fucky and shit. The crow sound. <laughs> Come on, we don't do words. We do sex. As we don't do words. We do sex. That's your issue, Blitz. You guys need to talk. Not. I don't even know where wrong. You could talk through sex and stuff and everything. But yeah, if that's the only way you communicate is just sex, that's, that's a problem in a relationship. Shocking as this might seem, Blitz, I don't think I'm in the mood to Not do I. sex with you. In fact, I don't think I'm even in the mood to, to do, do you at with all. You. Oh. So how about. You always love seeing. Bless, you're gonna push it with Stolz to the point that Stolz is gonna snap, I think. Got an invite to this anti Blitzo party, and anti invite Blitzo. being your freshest never and Okay, I'm sorry. How long has it been since these two, like, 
had their fight. Ha and wait, who who said the thing again? Honorary invite for being your freshest ex. Freshest ex. Okay, wait. Is whoever said the 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 card the one that's saying that their blitz is fresh as X? Because if that's the case, that's Vraska, right? But if not, are they saying that Stolas is blitz is fresh as X? Because they weren't even together, so and also whoever said this, how did they know that they had an argument and that Stolas was the anti blitz all of a sudden? Like how fast does this word travel in hell? Uh, what? Anti blitz, I'd never indulge this non It's Vraska. <laughs> it might be rude not to make Stolas, congrats. Blitz has officially broken your effing heart. It would be my pleasure to extend an honorary invite for being his freshest ex. So, Verasica. Ver of course, it's Verasica. What the fudge? So, wait. Verasica's calling, Verasica's calling Stolas Blitz's freshest ex, even though they weren't even a thing. But, I mean. She knows that Souls obviously was pursuing Blitz and stuff, or was into Blitz like that. But damn, how fast did she find out? How, like, what? How'd she find out? Like, I doubt... I don't think there's anyone left in the castle or the mansion to have overheard their arguments, so it's not like there's a butler imp that could have spilled or posted about it. Blitz, I'm sure, wouldn't have told anyone. Stoles, I don't think, would have told anyone. So, like... Okay, maybe... Okay, maybe Octavia, because it doesn't... I think Octavia's still living with Solas, so she could have leaked it to someone. But, huh? But anyway, being his freshest ex to our Halloween party in the human in the human world for closure and to indulge in our shared hatred for that miserable fuck boy. I mean, Blitz is an F boy. I mean, you look at how he had sex with Chaz and all that stuff, just to, like, yeah, he's... he. Um, Hope to see you there, Vraska Meet. Oh. Appearance. Vraska! Of course. I love the way that freaking uh <laughs> Um Brandon says Vraska. Vraska! <laughs> like just the way he says her name. That fucking bitch. I yeah. say. Actually, I just love the I just I love Brandon's deliveries as blitz all around. Same as same with Bryce. In the end, everyone's just bitter. They couldn't tie this ass down. Uh huh. Didn't Blitz like steal Veraska's car or something? I'm too much imp to simp. You re Oh, he did not just say that. I'm too much imp to simp. <laughs> oh. You really think that's the reason? So you're used to being the one who crushes others' feelings. Hmm? If by crushes others' feelings, you. Oh my God! Freaking not him mocking Solus' voice again. I I. It's both mean, but I love how Brandon does it. Mean in shit before it gets serious, then bingo, I'm doing everyone a favor. Yeah, and you do that to avoid the serious stuff because you're scared of, you're scared of, what is it? Not being tied down. He's scared of having to maybe be loyal or, what is it? Not loyal, but I don't know, like being in an actual dedicated relationship. Because relationships are boring. Has he even ever been in one fully? Okay, he's been in one with Veraska, but has he really been... I mean... We know he's been with Veraska. And obviously he feels guilty for whatever he did, because when she was, like... When she was, uh... Nailing him with her comments at the club, at uh, Ozzy's, uh... Club. He looked guilty, so he definitely feels bad about what he did to Verasica and I'm sure he feels I, we know not I'm sure he, I know he feels bad over what he's what happened with Stolas so but again he avoids emotions and feelings and all that stuff and relationships with sex and sex talk and dirty talk and all those things uh, oh that fluff up from Stolas in the, the angry bird noise oh yes very boring Oh, there's that smile. There's a smile from... I thought... I honestly thought that this was, like, maybe Blitz being in a chariot or in a car or something. And that Stolas was, like, leaning on the... Uh, not windowsill. Uh, I guess the door. The window. The open window. So what are you doing here, then? Uh, waiting. Oh, yeah. You know, what are you doing there? Oh, yes. Very boring. So what are you doing here, then? I love how 
I'm waiting for you to realize how good an angry fuck would be right now. How good an angry f <laughs> No! Oh, get out! Oh, get out! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm eating this up. Right now. Get out. Get out. Right now. <laughs> Freaking Blitz's face. He's like, are you telling me to get out? Now. Get out. <laughs> I love this. He's just like, Blitz is not used to salts being this pissed at him. Right now. Or actually really pissed at all. You can't tell me this isn't a fantasy of yours. You want I don't think this is a fantasy of Stolz, is that you talk angry with him and stuff. Me to show your rich princey ass what a real fucking is. You get off to getting plowed by people you look down on. I don't look down on you. How many times do I- Oh, he's just- Ooh, Blitz is pushing in that whole, like, what Stolz said about- Blitz, why are you pushing that even further when you can see how hurt that Stolz was when Stolz was like, um, when you said- I think so very highly of you, Blitz. I didn't, ever, I didn't think you thought so low of me. Like, you can see how badly that hurt, Solis, and yet you're still pushing this, oh no, you look down upon me and you get off on it and stuff. It's like, no. When have I ever, you speak. That quick, like, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, read it in. <laughs> like, Solis is trying so hard not to go fully off on, but like, let's be honest. If Solis wanted to, he could wipe Bliss's existence from hell like that, but he's not. He just couldn't be bothered to come help me. Remember him? Oh, he's bringing that up. Hey, well, I do not sound like that. I, and I didn't know he was kept. And yeah, he does sound like kind of like Striker with the whole blue blood. You look down upon us and everything. Even though Stolz hasn't really shown him, him, like he hasn't really been shown to like look down harshly upon imps and stuff like he maybe like he has them as servants and stuff yes but he doesn't treat them like you're like the ever other blue bloods we've seen like i mean not ozzy ob obviously ozzy's different but like most of the world like the blue bloods we've seen like stolz's father i mean heck even well not blue blood i was gonna say cash but cash is an imp but you know you don't have to be a blue blood to treat someone badly uh but yeah for blue bloods exist in example uh, you got Mammon, you got Stolz's father, um, I'm sure there are others, but, like, Beelzebub's been good. I mean, she's dating a freaking hellhound, and that's, hellhounds are not considered high class. Uh, you have Ozzy with Fizz, who's an imp. So, there's a lot of examples around Blitz that that's not the case, obviously, for every blue blitz. It's not like Stolz is the first. Um, so the fact that Blitz is pushing so hard that, no, you're just like every other blue blood, you look down upon us, you treat us like shit and stuff for the, yeah, uh, yeah Blitz, you need a good smacking and, or whatever. Like, I, I see from your side, Blitz, but at the same time, somebody needs to, like, slap you and then have a talk with you. I, I stopped him the first time, didn't I? The first time? Oh, that's, oh, that's right. He almost wasn't aware that he was going to get, he was about to be assassinated by Striker. So let's never tell him about that. <laughs> that freeze like. Oh yeah, that's right. I never told you. You knew someone was trying to assassinate me. Place to protect a Goisha, is it? And there it is. To oh, just Solus is just playing it. Oh my God, Blitz. That I'm this prince who thinks he's so much better than you. Well, I don't. Why would I allow? Ooh, this music. And that was still the gayest thing I've heard. <laughs> That's the gayest thing. <laughs> Blitz. All day. Do you feel any kind of remorse for what you do? Have you ever even apologized once? For what? You want me to be like, oh, sorry this entire time. I oh, you know what? So also saying that, have you ever apologized for remorse for your life? Well, we have seen Blitz can, because Blitz did that with Fizz. Like, Blitz completely broke down, and, like, that was honestly the most emotional. That was the first time we ever heard Blitz sound so emotional, was when he was apologizing to Blitz and all that. Or, in, Blitz is apologizing to Blitz. Blitz is apologizing to Fizz. <laughs> because I was convinced the prince could never love someone like me and I let my self-hatred stop me from apologizing to anyone I could never care about. Well, that just came out real fast. What the fuck? 
Blitz? I was expecting that kind of revelation right now. For what? You want me to be like, oh, sorry this entire time. I assumed the worst because I was convinced the prince could never love someone like me and I let my self-hatred stop me from apologizing to anyone I could never care about. Well, yes. A tweet time. That. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> it's like, we're getting somewhere, finally. Oh my God, communication, opening up feelings. What is this? What is this concept? And that's where the title of this episode comes in. He's going to go around and apologize to everyone to show Solas that he can't apologize. So hard, he cried. <laughs> Did he just say, I apologize, Fizz so hard, he cried? You watch. I sorry, Fizz so hard, he cried. <laughs> and I can sorry more people, everyone but you. Because uh. I don't owe you dick. Everyone but you. God, Brandon and Bryce. I don't know what it is. They just do such a good job with the emotion stuff. And like, I, I, in my opinion, yes, I find a lot of the crew dirty jokes in the show funny and stuff. But I think what I love most about the show is when we get into this emotional deep things. Like I, I, that's what shines in this series for me, and that's what I love about it. Um. I, like I said, don't get me wrong. I, I laugh at the certain, certain the dirty jokes and so, like and that kind of stuff. But that's not what I watch the show for. I watch it for the characters and their the emotions and like this stuff that goes on, and especially like like there's so much to explore these characters emotional wise. Like not just these two, but Luna and Blitz's history. Like Luna's history before Blitz, uh, more Moxie and Millie before they met or as they met kind of thing. Um, Oh, uh, like, I guess, well, not really Octavia, because I know, we already kind of know what Octavia is going through and stuff. Um, I like to see more of Octavia and Stolz's relationship. Like, there's a lot to explore, and I really like, so I'm glad we're getting into at least Stolz and Blitzes. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. I mean, how many could there possibly be? Are we getting a song? Song? Wait, I just noticed, is he, he's writing a list of the people he has to, I love how he puts Moxie with a question mark. Annoying kid. Annoying kid, what, the one that he, they killed in like the first episode, the pilot? Southern bitch. Southern bitch. He didn't, don't think he'd be calling Striker a Southern bitch. Uh, Southern bitch. Could it be the one from the pilot or the second episode with the family and stuff? The one that, like, they, that, uh, was it Millie? No. Moxie put a whole, like, he blasted her eyeball out and stuff. Could it be her? Oh my god, it is her. Yes? Oh. oh. It's you. Hey, Mark. Long time no see with your one eye. Uh, look, I know we killed you in the past, but I just wanted to say no hard feelings and offer this. So she did end up in, uh, in hell. <laughs> oh. Wait, I'm sorry. So Southern Bish, mo crazy mom, ended up with the teacher that wanted her dead in the first place? You know what? That's honestly kind of funny. Because you think about it, the husband is the one that cheated on her, the teacher. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, she was also a bitch and everything, and like, wasn't that a good person? And like, crazy, and with all the skulls and stuff. So, it's not like she's innocent or anything, but it's kind of, I can see why the teacher would end up with her when it's not like it's the husband that did the cheating, like, did the sleeping around and was technically in the dedicated marriage. So, <laughs> it's kind of, yeah. <laughs> Also, what was in that basket? I want to know. Sorry, hot sauce, cheese. Is it just hot sauce and cheese? Like, I know that it's a running gag of hot sauce and cheese because, uh, or at least I think a stick of cheese because that's a thing of Brandon. Brandon, I guess, ate a stick of cheese during a stream or something like that, and that's become a running gag with Blitz. But I don't know if he put hot sauce on it, too. <laughs> that's funny, though. Wait, so what do we have more? Guy I ran over. When did he run over someone? I don't remember who he ran over. Hot bouncer. 
the one at Ozzy's club, but he didn't kill him. No, I don't think. I mean, I know there was the guy, or was he talking about the hot bouncer that was at uh, Beelzebub's club? I don't think he killed him either, though. Who? I just saw some of the other guy. Was the other guy ran over? And also the horse, of course he has a horseshoe on his uh, pen. Other guy, I, I'm pretty sure it's I ran over. Sawi. Wait, 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 did he just do, just do a Sawi? Sawi <laughs> with the sad horsey, the frowny. Oh my God, it's got a cutie mark with a frowny face. That, okay. And hey, Blitz uses the same kind of smiley as I do. Uh, yeah, I don't think Sari's gonna- Oh my god, they're like, that was her chance to get Blitz. <laughs> oh, it is that bouncer. Okay, so it's that bouncer. I thought he was apologizing to the people that he killed or hurt, but I guess those he used as well. Souls. <laughs> Wait, Stoles. That's his nickname for Stolas, is Stoles. I know what you are, the gay flag. Sniff, sniff. I smell a homosexual and it's a freaking hell horse. Sniff in the phone. I'm sorry, sorry for last night. He just refused. It's gonna end with him apologizing. No, it's gonna end with him apologizing in person. I'm calling, I'm calling it. Mammon Zululian, who are you? Oh my God, the apple guy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, out of all the people I thought he would apologize to, I thought it would be either Robot Fizz or that, uh, uh, the guy at the stand that he landed on. <laughs> Even though I don't think that guy deserves it, because he was being a creep with Millie. Uh, plus this guy was a creep too. So yeah, Robot Fizz, honestly. Who the f- what? Oh my god, are these all the dead- Agents from that from that episode. Oh my god, it is. Just toss the sorry for asking you and they're all dead. I think you should go to like heaven or hell wherever they died and went to. The Hollies. Oh my god, the in memoriam. Oh my god, the director. Blitz, what are you? I'm sorry for the shitty things I said. You're not sending of course you're not. He's trying, but he just can't. That's gonna be the hardest one from Sawi. They're all pointing guns at the freaking the the pre the, the priest. Oh no, you're not. Cherub. Fuck you guys. Sorry, not sorry. He doesn't care about them. I love how the, he apologized, he's apologized to everyone so far except for them. And he's like, nah, you know what? F you guys. All right, and now on to the exes who are all in one place. <laughs> no pressure. I'm sorry. You got to have chutzpahs to go to a party of your exes, full of your exes. That's a, especially with what Blitz has done to all of them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he, he, he'll be lucky if he gets out of there and not cast rage. Sick costume, bro. Hey, happy Halloween. Oh my god, that's Brandon. I I hear him. Oh, Looks like you missed some makeup there. Wait, oh my god, is that freaking one of Brandon's caricatures or something like that? Is that is that Angry Grandpa or something or whatever it is that Brandon does? It is, right? Thanks. It's my face. Brandon talking to Brandon. Of course their house is on the hill. Blitzo more like shit so. Oh my god. F Blitzo. Blitzo break your heart. I can't really see it. Can the color change? Oh, there we go. Blitzo break your heart. Compensation 800 FU Blitzo. <laughs> Here lies Pip. Can't. Smells like piss. Loser. Are all. Are all of these seriously his exes? There's no right, right? Uh, how many people? How many people did Blitz get with, or sleep with, or hurt, or something? Well, they're all exes, so. Holy shit! That's okay. I'm sorry if I was Souls and I saw how many exes were at this party. I would be like, 
he really is a F boy. Yeah, he's feeling like that. Because holy mutual pettiness. Oh uh, what? Oh, nothing. Oh my god, he's got a he's got a freaking blitz head on this stick. Oh hey, Veraska. He's blushing. Now, I know it's not, like, I from that reaction and stuff, I don't think it's because of, oh, he now has feelings for Vraska or, like, he anything. I think it's because, has Solis really been shown any genuine affection by anyone? I don't think he has. Not from Stella. Sure as hell not from Stella. Not from his parents, or at least his dad for sure. Octavia is like literally, yeah, definitely not her either. Blitz has just been literally just sex. And it's not even like make love soft sex, like romantical sex. It's just like rough raw dog sex. Um, so yeah, this is probably the first time he's ever been shown affection in that way where it's just a kiss on the cheek where it's just like, you know, somebody genuinely happy to see him. So I don't blame him for blushing with this. I don't get invited out much. Also, it's good to see more Vraska because we've only seen her like, what? I mean, we had her in her on the, in the when she went to the human world again with the bet against Blitz and all that stuff in that episode. Then we had her in the episode with Ozzy's Club, um, and I think we've only seen her like at the background or something or like glimpses, but we haven't seen her like as a main character in an episode since the beach one honestly all right yeah the beach was the last one she was like a main character in i wouldn't count her in aussies because it was just like a the last like minute or two or something like that or maybe like 30 seconds of yeah maybe like a minute of that episode so well this certainly beats the last earth party i attended on hallow's eve i'm stabbing the freaking blitz plush I was told there would be cake. So this is probably sitting there like humans are weird. I like to. I think the funny thing is, is Stolas may be hurt by what, or not maybe, Blitz. Stolas is hurt by what Blitz has said and done, but he doesn't want to kill or hurt Blitz. He just wants him to love him and just see that and all those things and. Oh, I just see, I see a thing where it says, have fun, B. Oh my god, B gave them her stock of the Beals of juice, whatever it's called. I mean, yeah, Stolas has sucked that dick. <laughs> but I don't think he wants to eat it like that. All right. Nobody wants his dick anyway. I think I'm content. You feel so out of place here. I, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I still can't get over it. That's so many people that he's been with. Wow, have I fucked this many people? Christ on a stick, I should start keeping count. Yeah, Blitz. Sorry for the comment I made at your sister's wedding, though she did deserve it, she's a whore. Sorry for fucking your mom, though I thought it was your dad. Sorry for effing your mom, thought it was your dad. <laughs> oh, this is how he ends up in that blood spotted blanket. He did it. Way to go, Dennis. Oh, Dennis! He's from Dennis is the one that was from uh the Beals Above episode where he's like, Christ, of course you'd be a Dennis. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. Poor Dennis, man. You fucking suck. Yeah, you suck, Dennis. Dennis is gonna commit seppuku. <laughs> I feel bad for Dennis. Dennis is gonna become a villain. Not the freaking in real life plushy PNG image on the top. The, the bunny, the bunny outfit, like Playboy imp. I'm sorry, this is too much. Oh, there's Stella. No. Oh shit. Wait, why is? Oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. I was gonna say why is uh, Hellhound boy there or uh. I forgot his name. Beelzebub's boyfriend, but why is he there? But then I remember that he's the bodyguard for Roscoe's never mind. Get up here and say a few words. No, 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 no. I'm not really um You are a singer. Get up there and sing. Oh. Uh, um He's gonna go all out. 
Or he's going to be, like, nervous about it and be, like, tentative, and then he's going to belt it. Come on, Blitz. I mean, Stolas. Wait, we're getting Veracica, Stolas, and Hell Out Boy? How, you know what, this series, I swear to God, I, Viv and her songs with both Hell of a Boss and Hasbun Hotel, like, with the, like, it could, the swearing of things, but yet they work so god darn well, and I don't know. <laughs> This is, this is not the, uh, trio singing, uh, d what do you call it? You got duet, uh, this is not what I expected. These are not the characters I expected to sing together, I should say. Is this where we're gonna get the shot of, like, Blitz looking up with, with that, like, light on him and he looks like he's about to cry? Oh, here we go. This song. That's that. Oh, ow. Oh, Blitz. Seeking it. Oh, that's where these clips come. Oh, I spoke. Mm. Thank you for your time. Okay, I need to go over that song again. Hold up, hold up. Not so much like the beginning part, but once we start getting to this. Also, this is such a good song. <laughs> like, yeah, like Bryce always, like, even with like Verasica and, uh, What's his name? The Hellhound in the background, like with a motherfucker. Like them adding, like, <laughs> it doesn't really take away, but I will say, obviously, my favorite part is Bryce's singing. But this is like, it, it's like a rock song. It's like, I, I forgot what it's called. It's a genre of rock that's just more like, <sighs> it's blanking on me, but it's like a somber rock song. It's not full rock out kind of jamming, you know, Black Betty kind of song, but it's like a ballad rock song. I was expecting it for this show. Of course you do. You can't forget, like, some of you fall in love with like that, you can't forget them that easily, like, within a few week. See, they're... All of his exes, I would say, except for Stolas, see him as being, like, just a, like, a pure asshole. Like, a, or a motherfucker. <laughs> Whereas Stolas has seen that part of Blitz that he knows, cares, and everything. And is just scared to open up emotionally and you know, all that stuff, and and he sabotages himself, um, so he doesn't see him as just ugh, this heartless mother effer like the rest do. You see, and at least he's acknowledging, kind of like you know, did I come on too strong? Which that's where Solas did not help Blitz's image or like what Blitz uh, uh, sees the relationship as when it comes to like. Blitz felt, oh, you just want, you want me as an F toy, you know, and that kind of thing. You didn't see me as anything more. Even though it was obvious Stolz did feel something more for Blitz, Blitz couldn't see it because he just, Blitz, Stolz also kept acting like this toward him with the whole, aren't you cute? And I mean, that's, that's kind of belittling on its own where it's like, aren't you cute? Like, it's like, it's a belittling kind of comment. Even though Stolz didn't intend it that way, he thought Blitz wanted to be talked to that way. It was like, it's like, it's just, again, it's a very, it's toxic situation and instead of talking about it or like communicating and saying hey you know what i actually don't like that i feel like you're treating me like i'm this then souls could have said no i don't think of you that way and again, it's just communication with these two <laughs> but i mean that's a big problem for a lot of relationships and couples and stuff so it's not really unheard of it's not like oh that's rare it's like no that's a big issue for a lot of relationships even like non-romantical wise even friends have that problem this part too i love this I really like that part. See, and this doesn't help because now they're like pushing him to say it didn't mean a goddamn thing, right? And he's like, 
he feels that pressure and he's like, no, it didn't. And it's kind of like what happened with at the Aussies club when they were like looking at Stolas and Stolas covered himself with the menu and then Blitz had that feeling like he's ashamed, like Stolas was ashamed to be seen with him. And it that didn't help at all either. So now it's kind of like happening again where he's kind of going with what they're kind of pushing, which is, yeah, it didn't mean anything. And so Blitz might is probably taking this as, I knew it, I didn't mean anything to you. At least I think that's what has been taken, so. That, or I'm misreading this part, and it's actually where they're saying that they're trying to make Stolz realize that Blitz, that he, or Stolz doesn't mean a thing to Blitz. It never will, it never has, like, never has, never will. And so Blitz now feels bad for that or something like that. But I think it's more of Blitz's feeling that he didn't mean a thing to Stolz ever. I mean, we've never, we haven't seen Blitz look this sad, I think, since he was, like, what, little? Got to see. Just the, like, I love the emotion in this series when they get to it. It's just, like, the lip trembling to, like, him trying to suppress probably a sob or something. And his just, like, his hand slowly clenching the, the, uh, tablecloth. Like, this. mm. Also, freaking this one imp that says, the Josh, the Josh hates Blitz. And I have to say, this last mother effort from uh, from Stolas, like just the way he says it. Not this one. After this. Like that, that's like a repressed, like angry, like. Talk to him, talk to him. Please, please, I want you two to make up. Don't run, go to him and apologize. Oh my god, he's so tipsy. Just that simple, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, he's gone. You're lucky everyone is drunk or you would be murdered right now. Ah, no, it's good. I'm in a disguise. The fact that even with him being as tipsy as souls still protects him. You certainly have your work cut out for you. Look, how I acted this- <laughs> You certainly have your work cut out for you. Yeah, because everyone in there- Morning. Even though I think it's Verasica that deserves the apology the most next. <laughs> I've always been real shit at sorries, okay? They're for pussies and no one fucking deserves them any- The owl head turned just- <laughs> I can't! Oh, lucky me! <laughs> this is such a serious moment, but at the same time, still as being drunk as he is, he's just flopping around. It's just, I can't. It didn't really mean any of it, because the- uh, this is where the shot of Stolas like leaning there and looking up, looking like vulnerable. And then I wait, but what, what shot comes in with with because we haven't gotten it yet of Blitz looking sad, looking up. So hold on. The only one I wanted to say it to was you. Was you, Stolas? I just there's that shot. Thing, we, could you ever actually care for an imp like me? Me. They throw an entire fucking party about hating you every year. Do you know how much? Yeah, that, you know, you think about it, that is true. That means they cared so much that what he did hurt them so deeply that they're throwing a freaking party every year. So that means they all cared very deeply about him. Because if you don't care about someone, like, if someone, if somebody, like, does something to you that you don't care about, you don't throw a party to hate on him. Because if not, I wouldn't have bothered you. So obviously what he did hurt them deeply enough to make, throw, yeah, so. You have to care to do something as stupid as that? I'm loving I, I'm loving Brandon, but Bryce is just doing so good with this. <laughs> you are better off without me, okay? You deserve so much. I don't need... Oh, that voice break. No, that was actually going to make me tear up. Just that voice break right there. Hey, you deserve so much. Was he going to say so much better or was he going to say someone better? I don't even know why you would want to be with me. You want to know what I want? I want to know what it's like to not be alone. I want to be someone's someone. Aww. Also, the song in the background, I think Verasco singing it. I want to feel wanted, but like uh, in a romantic that's where way, like I'm from. standing out in the rain. I cannot be without you. Oh my oh, God. Solace, that's a rom-com. 
Oh, fuck rom you. <laughs> it's a rom com. <laughs> That's a mood, Gabriella. <laughs> you want to see me? To hold me? Fishing. Look at me and think, oh, you only what I want. I desire to hold you and talk to you. Never let you feel so. They're talking. They're talking. Do this. Blitz, you, come on. Why are you here? <laughs> Blitz, don't leave them like this. You're going to leave, aren't you? Hey. Oh. Hello. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sings fantastic. We're talking here. Well, I just. Oh no! You got a fancy bond imp here that's gonna go and make the moves on Stellas. Please, please don't walk away, please. Wanted... You want to dance with me? With me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, not this kind of song. Blitz. Blitz. Okay. Blitz. No. He's got to apologize for Oscar. This is gonna be interesting. Are we gonna finally get this really see backstory on these two? Please, we only got like what? Five minutes left? <laughs> the way he comes up, <laughs> he, looks, he looks so cute, but it's so like scared. Hey, Ver. Ver. So, well, I'm sorry for always telling it like it is, sister. I'm just being honest. Oh my god, Blitz. Don't mess this up. I'm sorry for dumping you. Sorry for not falling head over heels for you. Or that guy. Or fucking Dennis. Or Dennis? <laughs> I mean, Dennis was just at a random freaking party, so, uh. Or any Do you hear yourself? Everyone's shitty. Hello, we live in hell. I mean, he's not wrong. They are in hell. But, uh. Obviously, when you look at people like Fizz and Ozzy and, uh, uh, Millie and Moxie and stuff, obviously you can be in hell but still be very loving and caring and stuff, so, yeah. What? Final we having to own that his actions affect other people's They have consequences. Fifi. When the fun got Are we gonna focus on her tattoo that she's got on her arm that's cro uh, Blitz was named crossed out? I was dating decided to just bail on me because I made the shitty mistake of saying I love... It was oh, so she told Blitz that she loved him and he bailed out just kind of like what he did with the... Uh... But what was his justification for Verasa? Because Verasa's a succubus, right? She's a low class like him. So... Or it's because of her, her fame and stuff that he felt that she deserved someone more of her level. She kicks out the freaking pole so she can sit with her every friend. <laughs> At least I can help others cope with the shit you did. Yeah. I don't want to be this way. Oh, there's this Not line. Not forever. <laughs> oh, that's a no-no. <laughs> oh, Blitz is gonna... That's my owl. <laughs> oh, really? That's my Goisha. Good time. Oh, that bird stealing cockback. Hold it, Blitz. Oh, the growl. We've only heard that from like Moxie and Millie. <laughs> Here, have some cake, fuckwad. Hope he gets laid. I mean, yeah, to be fair, Blitz doesn't have a right to be possessive over Stolas, considering Blitz has clearly effed a lot of people. Both literally and emotionally. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, um, let's all have a good time for one night and then like they can have a talk later. Bleeding heart. Ooh, another Veroska good song. Another good song. This is a good song. I want this at a club. Hold up. First off, okay, I thought the song was being longer. That better be a full song somewhere, released somewhere later on, right? Okay, Viv and Spindle Horse, <laughs> that's a good song. But wait, I wanted to, there's something I noticed, but I didn't want to talk over the song, really. Um, is it just me, or does this imp's stomach look like a smiley face with the nipples being like eyes? <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or not, but that's what I noticed. Also, let's see, what else did I see? 
Halloween is skeleton. Skeleton? I, I, scary? Is it like skeleton? I don't know if they're trying to do a joke on there. I don't, I don't see it. The F Blitzo jacket. Uh, and is that freaking. That is Wally. Of course, he. The Blitzo Kill Yourself shirt? No! <laughs> I mean, I saw I saw the on the the Hell of a Boss like store merchandise store. They were selling the Blitzo Kill Yourself shirt, and I, while I'd like, I'm tempted to get it. At the same time, it's so sad that it says Blitzo Kill. So I don't want Blitzo to die. So like, that's so sad. <laughs> More song. I mean, the, the song with uh, Souls and stuff is great, but this one I think I like even more. This is like a one like, like this would be a good dance song, like at a club. And Tax, Tax is the name of that hellhound. I could see a lot of people listening to the song when they're getting over an X or something like that. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, well, oh, that was apology tour. Let me uh, get into my thoughts. <laughs> Okay, oh my, ha, uh -huh. that was a apology tour. I actually think that was more painful than the moon episode, new moon episode, because, yeah, seeing, now we're getting, like, don't get me wrong, you had the blow up of the previous episode, but that was honestly, like, for only, like, the last, like, what, two, three minutes of the episode, if that, um, which was hard, but this one was, like, a, mostly at least half the episode of just pure feelings and emotion and just like seeing Blitz go through his turmoil and him apologizing and stuff. Don't, don't get me wrong, like some of it was like, a lot of it was funny when he was apologizing to people and stuff, especially like the chairs with the, you know, sorry, not sorry <laughs> and stuff. But like you see him again, genuinely like trying and stuff, even though he, the one he meant it the most to was Stolas, which is why, like I said, I think that's why he could not send that text because Stolas is the only one that he meant like, he felt guilty for. I mean, I think Vraska, too, which is why at the end there he did, like, soften up and was like, you know, I don't want to be this way forever. So, I think Vraska and Solus are the ones he meant it the most, and he felt the most guilty for hurting. Whereas everyone else was kind of like, yeah, I feel bad. Except for, like, the cherubs and stuff, but, like, and then that's kind of like, yeah, here you go, you know, here's a sorry, whatever. Kind of thing. He just wants to get it out of the way. And Fizz, he's already apologized, too, so he wasn't going to go to Fizz. Um... So yeah, it's like only three people that he mainly meant sorry for. Fizz, you already did. Stolas, he's tried to, but again, Stolas is, doesn't help, but Stolas is drunk and tipsy, which, you know, trying to have this emotional conversation and serious talk, which I think if Stolas had not been tipsy slash drunk, he would have, he, they would have been able to talk more, and he would have seen that Bliss is really opening up and trying to, you know, work through this, but because he's, you know, intoxicated he doesn't so then of course you got freaking what's his face the random imp that comes in and swoops souls off his feet and goes dancing with him so that didn't help either um but yeah like I, i'm curious where we go from here because blitz has kind of opened up and or not kind of but he has opened up and talked more um and they've talked but whether souls is even going to remember this conversation by the next day is going to be the question um and like where we go from here, because I know we've got like the Ghost Efforts episode, we got Sinsmas, I think we have another episode, so I'm curious and like, I know, I think Octavia's going to be in an episode, so I'm curious if that's going to be like a Stolos and Octavia episode, which I wouldn't be against, I'm curious, like I'd like to see their relationship develop more, um, or grow more, um, we have, St we have, uh, Visago, um, and we have Stella's brother, so it's like there's still quite a bit to get into this season, I think we've got like what, f four episodes I think left? For this season, um, and I think the next one's not gonna be for another month. Like this one, I forgot that we were even gonna get this episode because I'm so used to these episodes coming out like every two to three months or more. Um, that when they were like when Viv tweeted and was like, "Oh, for I was so tired that I forgot to say today that new episode comes out tomorrow." I was like, "What?" <laughs> I was not prepared. Um, so I know, but the, I know the next one's not gonna be for another month at least. Like it's gonna be not in July. I think it's gonna be. In, August is when the next one's gonna be. Um, I think, or was it September? Are we gonna get two month break? 
or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I know at least it's not going to be for another month. Um, but yeah, overall, um, painful episode, but a great one. Great character development, great character growth. Um, mainly, well, actually for both, but mainly for Blitz, obviously, because this was an episode based on, or focused on his growth and like him apologizing, even though he didn't meant it for everyone, but for the ones that he cared about the most or the ones that, uh, like, you know, the ones that he felt the, actually guilty for hurting, um, got the true apologies. Uh, so, and I'm glad to see that he didn't exactly patch things up with Frosca, but, like, she sees that he genuinely, like, is trying. He doesn't want to be the same person he's been. Um, so, yeah. Overall, fantastic episode. Uh, plot, character, animation, music as usual. Just everything about this episode was great. Uh... Song with Stolas and uh, Tex and Vraska was good. Bryce was my favorite part of that song. Um, but then Vraska's song for the ending, again, very almost like, not lo-fi, but like chill. Just like, again, I comment that it's just like a song you would hear in a club that, not even like a, like a, like jam out song, but just kind of like just one you could just like, like chill to and just like bop to. <laughs> I don't know. I hope they release that song soon or somebody like does post this full version of it because I would love to listen to it um but yeah that also reminds me Viv Spin a Horse when are we gonna get like full like playlist of songs that come out like we we're in a season two and we're gonna be getting to the end of, is it the end of season two we're gonna get like a full soundtrack release for what we've gotten so far because I really want full songs of this series <laughs> uh, but yeah anyway uh those are my thoughts for this episode I hope you enjoy this reaction have a wonderful morning after your night and keep ring bright see ya